Today we're diving into the world of Codium 8 by Codium AI. We've grabbed an open-source real-time chat application from GitHub, and we're going to enhance it by integrating an email address field into the sign-in page using Codium 8. As you can see, our sign-in page is pretty basic at the moment, with fields for name and room. But we want to enhance user experience by adding an email address field. Before we dive into coding, let's take a quick look at Codium 8. It's an AI-powered coding assistant that helps you plan, auto-complete code, and maintain code quality. With features like context collection, planning prompts, and plan-aware autocomplete, Codium 8 streamlines the development process. All right, let's get started with our plan. First, we need to collect some context for Codium 8 to understand our task. We're adding an email address field to the sign-in page to improve user identification and authentication. So, to add the relevant code as context for Codium 8, we are going to select the code, right-click, and add to Codium 8 as context. Similarly, we are going to go to the next file. Select all the code, right-click, and add to Codium 8 as context. Now that we have added the context, we will go to the mode and select Start a new task. Then we are going to write our plan here. Our plan is simple. We are going to add an email address field to the sign-in page to improve user identification and authentication. Let's now enter it and see what Codium 8 generates for us. As you can see, Codium 8 has started to write the plan. Now that we've described our plan, Codium 8 can generate a detailed plan for us, making the implementation process smoother. With the plan in place, we can start implementing the email address field. Codium 8's autocomplete feature suggests code snippets based on our plan, saving us time and reducing the likelihood of errors. So, we will click the load plan into autocompleter. Now you can see that autocompleter is loaded with the plan. Let's now take a quick peek at the plan. So, the first step is to update the join component in the join.js file. We will open the join.js file. Here we are going to add a new state variable for the email address. As you can see, Codium 8 has generated the code for us. We are just going to press the tab and the code is ready. Now the next step is to insert an input field for the email address below the name input field, which is this place, we are just going to enter, here like this and press tab. Now the final step, the final step is to modify the link components on click handler to prevent default action if the email, name or room fields are empty. So, we are going to remove this line and Codium 8 is going to write the new line for us. Here you can see that email has been included. Now we will move on to the next step. The next step is to modify the chat component. We will go to the chat.js file then we are going to update the use effect hook that handles the socket connection to include the email. Let's just enter and here you will see that Codium 8 will generate the line for us. Again, we are going to press the tab. Now the next step is to include the email in the socket.emit call for the join event. So, what we can do is that we can simply remove this function here and let Codium 8 write the code for us. Here you can see that Codium 8 has written the code for us and we are going to execute our updated code. Now that everything is set and ready, we can safely execute our code. We will first run the server code using npm start. As the server is running, we will now move on to the client code and run npm start again. And there you have it. With Codium 8's help, We've successfully added an email address field to our sign-in page, enhancing the user experience of our real-time chat application.